Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before I go on, I want to mention that in the video's description you can find a playlist of my previous character analyses and a playlist of my tier list videos starting from January 2020. Today we're gonna be talking about Beatrix and her EX realization that came earlier today. I'm, go I'm going to go over her strengths and weaknesses as well as which artifacts you should be aiming for and finally if she is worth investing and how much you should invest in her. At the end of the analysis there will be a chaos run with my own Beatrix in the newest chaos stage showcasing her damage output and potential with a live commentary this time. So let's get started. For this analysis I will be talking about the purple Beatrix since that is her peak of her power. So keep that in mind please. Beatrix was our first global exclusive character and anyone who managed to get her back in the day knows how strong she was and for how long. I personally have used my Beatrix from the day of her release back in February 20, 2019 until early Cosmos in July. That's off the charge insane value for a gacha game character. Today she comes back not as game breaking as she was back then, but still a lot powerful with new toys in her arsenal. Beatrix has gone from having 2 HP plus all the time in order to save her thunder slashes to being a longevity monster since her EX now restores one use of thunder slash and her sane cloth is also a 2 hit brave plus HP attack and last but not least her HP variants and holy night guard are now battering the party after HP damage is dealt, making Beatrix a very turn efficient unit. Her Holy Knight Guard is a very strong gimmick that can be compared with Edge's party wide dodge aura and even though it's not as strong, she, can, she has a freedom to control when to apply it on herself, that on its own can be a double edged sword, because having to hold back on using Holy Knight Guard can sometimes mess up your rotation resulting in her wasting more skills than usual or messing up your EX recharge rate. Beatrix becomes a very strong AoE shaver with her Sun Thunder Slash being able to hit all targets 6 times before dump dumping her HP damage in one target, which will almost always result in her cutting her damage. Beatrix has some strong generic defensive buffs and coupled with her unique party wide buff she makes all of her party extremely tanky at all times, even though you will almost always prefer to have offensive buffs on your party. That's another issue with Beatrix buffs. You almost never want to push off an attack or a max brave buff with defensive buffs unless you are about to be hit by a strong boss attack and Beatrix had to use same cloth beforehand. She's reliant on having a total of 12 buffs across the party in order to maximize her own damage and that can be hard with certain units. So you have to plan accordingly and pair her with units that can buff as well. Beatrix skills apply a total of 10 buffs across the party from the start of the stage, so that's not really hard to achieve most of the times. Keep in mind that debuffs can mess your buff count which is, which is why I always like to pair up my Beatrix with Agrias, since Agrias can almost never be hit with debuffs. Most of her damage comes from Thunder element attacks and Beatrix herself can imperial that element, which, makes, which means you can't use her in Thunder resistance stages unless you bring someone that can imperial that element. Last and certainly not least, Beatrix gets an emergency direct heal with her bloom ability, coupled with a mild attack aura for the whole party, which is always nice. Recommended artifacts for Beatrix are above all her party wide aura boost with 108 attack coming second and 330 max brave as a consolation prize. The usual 108 attack and 330 max brave is not a very good combo for Beatrix if you want to utilize her to her fullest. Now let's see if you should invest in Beatrix or not and if you decide to do so how much you should invest in her. Like I always say if she's a favorite then you should definitely invest in her and I know a lot of people out there are fans of Final Fantasy 9 and Beatrix specifically. I personally purpled my Beatrix out of principle 
since she got me through so many difficult situations the past year, I thought it was only fair I treat her nice and stop caring about the metaphor change. Beatrix is a very versatile character, being able to buff, heal and battery the party, while also having a good party-wide aura. All that while being a very good shaver with a very respectable damage output for not being a pure DPS unit. On the other hand, Beatrix is not a plug and play unit, meaning she will not feel in a fit in every team you put together and like I said in my previous video, there are a lot of really strong units coming this month, with Vayne being the first one. So unless you can spare the resources like me, then my recommendation is to not use Ingot on Beatrix. If you plan to on investing in here, then I would go all the way and here's why. Using a Bugon Beatrix unlocks her HP and Brave++ variants, as well as her Clean Hazard++, which is executed twice and has increased potency. All that while increasing the effects of her EX buff, Sworn General, and restoring one use of her Thunder Slash whenever you use her EX. That's honestly one of the best book upgrades I've seen so far in the Chaos era, and this is where you want to stop investing in Beatrix if you decide to not use Ingots in her. Giving her a book make, makes her a Dimensions and Fodder character, like many other uninvested units, enabling you to unlock your stronger units for later use. Investing one ingot in Beatrix gives her the usual permanent attack and max brave boost, which is pretty basic at this point. Investing two ingots in Beatrix makes the whole party start the stage with her same cloth buffs and thunder slash buffs while also she grants the EX buff on herself, that's a total of 10 buffs from the start of the stage, but then again, it's pretty basic at this point. Now if you decide to invest 3 ingots in here, you get a tremendous potency increase on her EX brave damage and overflow up to 200% while also unlocking her holy knight safeguard skill. You may think this is not the best 3 ingot investment. You could argue that having the Holy Knight Guard skill is not worth the 3 ingots, but I'll tell you why that's not true. The potency and overflow increase that you get on her EX is essential to her damage output, because her EX potencies are actually pretty low, and as you will see in the following Chaos run, that even in synergy with a 3 out of 3 EX plus weapon, her EX brave hits are really average. I've seen an image going around since yesterday saying that the minimum ingots for Beatrix should be 1 and the maximum should be 2, that is a false statement, and it will only result in you wasting your ingots on a character that will not satisfy you in the end. You either want to use a book only in order for her to be in dimensions and viable, or use 3 ingots if you want to keep using her in following chaos stages. Please do not waste your ingots and do not waste the character's potential as a result. Now let's continue on to the chaos run of this showcase featuring Beatrix. Now as you can see, I'm taking Vanilla and Charlotte along with my own Beatrix because I don't want to bring someone like Vayne or a strong damage dealer in order to upstage. Uh, Beatrix because the point of this video is to show what she can actually do. Just to remind everyone, um, this is not a pre-recorded video, I'm actually doing the commentary live uh, as I go along. And I'm actually really interested to see how Vanille performs um, in a synergy stage because I haven't had the chance to try her out in synergy before I think We are just gonna have to bear with Charlotte a bit until she uses her EX and then she becomes a powerhouse I'm Just gonna power a uh, battery here here just in case 
I'm so pleased about how they changed the um, same cloth. Wow, <laughs> single target 87k with KDX. That's that's amazing. Okay, so if you watched uh, my first run of this stage, where I used uh, my three knights team, Agrias, Beatrix, and Ramza, you can see that um, the bosses don't actually have a lot of HP. I'm actually gonna do HP to battery my Vanille and dump it. Right now my Agrias has uh, the same artifacts, sorry my Beatrix has the same artifacts she had in the EX era last year. So she is not at your peak, sort of speak, but she's gonna do just fine. And you will see that at the end of the stage, uh, Beatrix will have a lot of skills left, and I mean a lot. Just really nice to see her being uh, relevant again. Okay, here come the Marilyn Glorias. What is this turn rate here? I don't. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Pretty nice. Just gonna do this here, just just to be sure. And into X, that's perfect. Oh my god, Vanille is hitting 62 per target. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm actually gonna use Saint Cloth here to push the normal debuff off. Gonna use this spell for them. 78k, that's actually pretty good. I'm thinking of using the first crystal generation here. Yeah, let's do that. Like I said, um, the stage is actually really short compared to other EX stages. And here I'm gonna do uh, Holy, Knight, Holy Knight Safeguard because uh, my EX will be up the next turn. Let's do this. And also the the HP poison that the bosses put on you is not it's not taking for a lot of damage, so you don't have to be that much worried about it. Gonna apply 
the debuff on this one as well. Oh, I thought... I thought here X would be up. Let's apply the protect again. I love this music stage, by the way. It's one of my favorite soundtracks so far. This is the AoE Brave. Now, when the bosses um, recast bar goes to full, keep in mind that they will do the, their AoE Brave plus HP attacks, which are actually really nasty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use another crystal generation here. Because uh, as far as I'm seeing, this stage is gonna finish really quickly compared to how my first run was. Yeah, putting words again. As you can see, uh, the amount of defense Beatrix uh, gives to the whole party is just insane. Unfortunately, we will not be able to avoid VHP damage from um, target A. I'm doing this because I don't want to break target B. There we go. And I'm gonna do HP++ here just to battery the party imagine a chaos boss hitting you for less than 3k brave per hit this this is what happens when Beatrix is in the party look at that damage that's in that's that's ridiculous gonna use a third crystal generation here and I'm actually going to use the summon as well because why not I want to bring in Setzer now. I want to cash in in his incredible damage uh, with the weakness up. I'm not doing the mistake of doing HP plus again. So I'm gonna do Thunder Slash. Okay, as you can see here, my EX is only the plus version because my team does not have 12 total buffs. 
So if I use it if I use it now it's not it's not going to be as strong. So for that reason only I'm not gonna use my X. I'm gonna do same cloth to buff my whole team first. And then free joker for the max brave buff. I really don't like using a red card with Setzer lately, especially when there is no weakness going on. Now we are back to the plus plus version. You can see huge amount of damage. I just do HP plus. I think I'm gonna use the last uh, crystal generation here before Setzer goes away. Now this is not gonna do anything. Actually, I'm not really. I don't really care if they have uh, one or two stacks of freeze joker up at this point. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do same cloth to apply the buffs again. That's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna do the protect again for the debuffs, and then I'm gonna do heavy X. You can do this spell here if you want. I'm gonna break this target because I'm not really sure if Vanille would have been able to break him. Because I have so many skills with here, I'm gonna use this spell. Just remove all of their all of their buffs. I'm gonna do this in two day X just to remove some of their brave I 
I want to play it safe here and don't let them break me. Okay, that was really, really lucky. Vanille is still hitting for max damage, which is insane. We have the HP requirement, we do not. So we have to stall uh, for Vanille to recover her HP. That's fine. And that's a fight. <laughs> I didn't want to use HP plus there with Charlotte because there, there was a chance that the boss would die then and there. But getting that HP damage at the end was really unlucky. And Beatrix was nowhere uh, near the turn count in order to prevent it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis for Beatrix X Plus. This is her current artifacts. As you can see, <laughs> her attack can be much, much higher. My Vanille, I actually got that perfect artifact a couple of minutes ago. And mashallah. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And tell me what you thought about Beatrix. If you actually purpled yours, if you didn't, or if you decided to invest in Steiner. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.